Hello everybody, this is Bran here. Today, I have a Call of Duty Zombies Pack-a-Punch machine for you, or command block tutorial. So yeah, and this video has been requested by a lot of you guys, so it's here. It's finally here. And yeah, it's really simple, I think. And you guys can apply it to your world, it's a really neat system. So yeah, before I start this video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, let's get started on this tutorial. Okay guys, so the way this works is whenever you throw an item on the thing and click the button, it's just gonna up- or I, I need to add points first, don't I? <laughs> okay, yeah, so whenever you throw um, the item on there and click the button, it's gonna upgrade it. it it's a pretty neat system. Same thing with that. It's gonna give me- a, you, you can give yourself a better bow and extra arrows or different arrows as well. So yeah, and then the crossbow, same thing. It's gonna give me- a better bow or a better crossbow and then when I don't have any points and I throw it on there it's just not gonna work so yeah and by the way for it to po take points you have to have the item on there or it's not gonna work so yeah there, there's that for you so yeah re really neat system you can have more than just those three I just had those three as an example so yeah um, I'm gonna show you how to make this right now okay guys so the way that you set this up is you're going to want to do this part and then that part. So the way this works is you have a button right there, and then you have a repeater coming off of it going into a block. That's just a simple... I, I like to do that a lot so it could do a buy system and a... Um, or, not a buy system. It is a buy system, but... A purchase system and a purchase failed system, so that way it tells you if it worked or not. So, yeah. So let's start with the purchase fail because there's only two. Um, it's impulse, unconditional, needs redstone, zero ticks. And that scoreboard players test at the closest player, point zero to um, 4999. So basically it's testing from zero to one point below what you have pack a punch set. So if it's 5,000, you minus one and that's your test for. And then the next one is title, at P, action bar, you need more points and it's chain, can conditional make sure it's conditional always active zero ticks and that's what that is and pause it if you need okay and then the next one is going to be pretty tricky so i i use the the these target selectors a lot in this video so i'm gonna show you how to get it so the first one is impulse unconditional needs redstone zero ticks and then it's test for at e type equals item and then your X, Y, and Z, which the way you get your X, Y, and Z is you're basically testing for this block right there. You're testing for the block that the item's in right now. So the way you do it is you stand right here. And if you want to, you can really do this. And then it's, that's your chords. You remember those chords or write them down or whatever. And you remember those chords and you put them in the corresponding spots. So... In mine, it's like that. So basically, you get your cords and put them in for that block where the button's at. And then do a radius of two just to be safe. You could do radius of one, but I do radius of two just to be safe. So, yeah. And then the next one, it, so basically, what this is doing is you're testing to see if there's an item there. And if there is no item, it's not going to work because you don't want to take points for there not being an item. And then what you're going to want to do is chain, conditional, always active. And then it's going to be scoreboard players test at P points 5,000 to um, max. That's what that means. I need to look at this for a second. Okay. So yeah, that's what that means. Chain condition always active. It's testing to see if you have 5,000 points to the max amount of points. So yeah, it's pretty neat on that aspect. And then the next one is chain condition always active zero ticks. Scoreboard players remove at P points 5,000. So you're removing the 5,000 points. And there's the command for you. The next one is, it's pretty neat. It's chain conditional, always active, zero ticks. And then it's fill um, this. So what we're doing is we're filling this block, this block, and this block with redstone. So you're filling this block to this block. It, it, the fill command's pretty simple. So yeah, you're filling that with redstone blocks. Or redstone block is what you say. And then the next one is chain conditional always active zero ticks. And then it's 
title at P action bar upgrade purchased so yeah I did that because why not so basically it tells you hey you got the upgrade okay and just so you guys know this next system it is literally the same thing all you do is change the name of the item you're testing for so yeah it's pretty simple and so the thing that you're gonna wanna do is it's set block tilde tilde one tilde air so basically and it's repeat unconditional needs redstone so whenever a redstone block shows right here it's just gonna clear it it, it, it just that's how that works so yeah yeah, pause it if you need it. And then you're going to want to put these underneath every single one that you're going to be clearing for redstone. So if you have 50 possible Pack-a-Punch items, well, guess you're doing 50 <laughs> on this. So, yeah. And then this one is Impulse Unconditional Needs Redstone. And it's basically the same test for, but you're adding a name. So it's test for at... E type equals item your X Y and Z with a radius of two, and then name, and then whatever you have your um, before pack a punch gun. So not your new pack a punch gun, the one that you're throwing in the machine and clicking the button to get the new one. So the old one, so this regular stone sword. And then the next, and pause it if you need it, but you basically change the name per pack a punch item. And then the next one is chain conditional always active zero ticks, and it's clone tilde one tilde one tilde and then tilde tilde one tilde and then you can do this with chords or you can do it with tildes if you know how to do tilde so basically it's tilde so it's in the same spot on the x tilde one you're going up a block and then tilde one you're going z a block so it moved up by a block and then over one by a z so that's where it's cloning this is basically going there so, and if you want to use chords for this block, go ahead, but it's so much easier if you use tildes to just control click the command block and place, paste it over. So yeah, this one, you just basically put the chest here and set block it, pretty much. So there's the command. And then this one is a chain conditional always active set block tilde tilde one tilde air zero destroy. So basically you're set blocking this block with air zero destroying it so it's dropping whatever items and the chest that was in the chest and then the next thing is chain conditional always active zero ticks and then it's kill at e type equals item your x y and z with a radius of two um from over there so you're basically killing the previous item that was here and then the next thing you're doing is tp at e Radius equals four to your to the cord. So you're basically TPing all the items to that spot. So <clears throat> no it won't break if you have another person or another thing because if you have all these unconditional so and then ch conditional chain always active and pause it if you need it. So if you're testing and if all these are unconditional and you're testing to see if they um what's it called? Have the specific name. So if it's stone sword, it's only gonna drop the stone sword from this chest and it's gonna TP only the stone sword because it's TPing the item that was here to that spot but it won't drop that if you have a stone sword in there because if you set it up right and have the right name then it should only drop the one that you have there if that makes sense so yeah and the next one is um, repeat unconditional always active zero ticks and then it's kill at e type equals item name equals chest so you're killing the chest so yeah repeat unconditional always active so basically whenever you have a chest so like right here whenever the chest drops it just gets killed it's pretty simple in that aspect so yeah Th this is a really neat system guys i really like it 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 is really good so yeah and i just wanted to click the button because why not so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you really loved it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, guys, this is a really good system for your zombies map. I know you guys really wanted it, so here it is. <laughs> I hope you guys followed it and you did good when you made it. So yeah, I am really thankful for all the support, guys. I am at 1,120 subs, so... 
yeah, thank you guys for all the support. I never thought I would even come close to a thousand yet, a thousand one hundred. I mean, like, thank you guys so much. I it really means a lot to me. And yeah, guys, just yeah, thank you. And anyways, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And yeah, this has been Bram, and I'm out. Thank you.